أشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وأشهد أن محمدا عبده ورسوله بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على أشرف الأنبياء والمرسلين سيدنا وحبيبنا ونبينا محمد وعلى آله وأصحابه وأزواجه ومن تبعهم بإحسان إلى يوم الدين أما بعد قل إن كنتم تحبون الله فاتبعوني يحببكم الله ويغفر لكم ذنوبكم Say if you love Allah, then follow me, that is Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, yuhbibkum Allah, Allah will love you. One of the very unique gift that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gifted this ummah with, is our connection with Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. No ummah has that connection with either their prophet or the founder, whoever that person may be from whom they got the teachings of their religion. They don't have the connection with the founder, with the prophet, the way this ummah has its connection with Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Simple example of it is, see what is taking place in Medina Munawwara at the road of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Muslims from all around the world, they go there to say salam to Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Visit the qabr of any other anbiya alayhi salatu wa salam, you won't find no one there. Except for visitors. And of course, that is not the only way how we have our connection. We have a very, very strong connection with Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. As Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam told us about the downfall of the ummah as we will get closer to the day of Qiyamah, this is one of those things where there is a major downfall in the ummah and that is in our connection with Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Whereas this connection, this love for Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, it's really the key to our iman. That's the foundation of our iman. لا يؤمن أحدكم حتى أكون أحب إليه من والده وولده والناس يجمعين. No one can be a believer. لا يؤمن. No one can be a believer till he loves me more than his parents, children, and everyone else in the world. And as that love is going away, accordingly, ittiba following is going away too. Because you follow the person that you love. When you don't love someone and you are asked to follow that person, it's very difficult to follow. And you will always be falling short in following because you don't care about who this person is. You don't care about what this person is doing. But when there is love, then people look at each and every action, each and every move of this person. And try to follow those 
moves and those actions of that person. We see how players are being followed in all of their actions. People who are in the sports, regardless of what sport you play, maybe you would see some people who play that sport. And now you try to play like that person. They dress like those people. They act like those people. They walk, they talk, they hold the ball, they throw the ball, everything like that person. Now just think about it for a minute. If a player tries to copy players and follows those players, may Allah protect us, but those who sing, they try to follow some of the singers. Dancers are following some of the dancers. So as believers, as, as mu'mins, what are we supposed to do? Very simple. We are supposed to follow Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Let the dancers follow the dancers, let the singers follow the singers, let the players follow the players, and we are the true, we, we are the servants of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, we would follow our Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. But we would be able to follow, as I said, only when that love is there. When that element of love is missing, then we will fall short in following Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam also. And what happens if a person is not following Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam the way he's supposed to follow? I saw an amazing statement. But before I go to that statement, one more point, as we said, one thing is that this is something unique about this ummah, that we have our connection with our Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, very unique that this ummah has. Number two, second thing that is very unique about this ummah, the information that we have about Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, no ummah has that information about their prophet, about their founder, or anyone that they would follow. And not only this, let me tell you something amazing here. Say if today someone will say, you know, he wants to start an ummah, he likes to pretend to be a prophet, whatever that is. And that person starts developing his own ummah now. It's a challenge to every person in the world. Let that person, whoever that person is, as he's trying to develop his ummah, let that person inform his ummah about everything that Prophet ﷺ informed us about regarding his life. No, half of the things this person would even try to hide himself. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, not only that he never tried to hide anything, in fact, even the things that he was doing at his own home, people would go and ask Ummahatul Mu'mineen, the wives of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, tell us, what did he do when he was home? And they asked them about every detail about things he was doing at home. And they told them everything. Because he's your prophet as much as my prophet. They never said, he's my husband. What is it that you have to do with it? No. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa main life was not as a husband. He was as a prophet. And they understood his position as a prophet. And Ummahat al-Mu'mineen would not keep things secret, no, between husband and wife. In fact, one day he had a private conversation between him and some of his wives. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala raised the conversation in the Quran. And not only this, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, when you recite those ayat of Surah Al-Talaq, is it Surah Al-Talaq? 
وَإِذْ أَسَرَّ النَّبِيُّ إِلَى بَعْضِ أَزْوَاجِهِ حَدِيثًا فَلَمَّا نَبَّأَتْ بِهِ وَأَظْهَرَهُ اللَّهُ عَلَيْهِ When he informed some of his wives, they asked him, مَنْ أَنْبَأَكَ هَذَا قَالَ نَبَّأَنِي الْعَلِيمُ الْخَبِيرُ This is a conversation going on between him and his wife. And Allah is narrating that conversation in Qur'an. Telling us his main position, he's a prophet of Allah. So the information the ummah has about Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, no one could ever, no one in the world can have that information about any person in the world. As I said, even if that person is living today, you can't have that, that much information about that person as much as we have from Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam 1400 years ago.